Of course, it's crucial to understand how diet affects our health, especially when managing conditions like diabetes. This topic becomes even more fascinating when we dive into the world of amino acids, the tiny building blocks of proteins that have a mighty impact on our well-being. Did you know there are some of these little guys that diabetics should watch out for? But fret not. Let's jump right in and learn about the worst amino acids for diabetics backed by scientific studies. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. On our list at number 10 is methionine. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Diabetes Research pointed out that methionine, largely found in animal products like meat and fish, could be tricky for diabetics. Researchers found that high intake of this particular amino acid could negatively affect glucose metabolism and insulin resistance, two aspects that diabetics need to manage closely. Next up, at number 9, we have cysteine. A study published in Diabetes Care in 2007 suggested that high levels of cysteine were associated with increased glucose levels and decreased insulin sensitivity. Not so friendly for our diabetic friends, right? At number 8, we find phenylalanine, a 2016 study in BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care discovered that individuals with higher plasma concentrations of phenylalanine had a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This amino acid is abundant in protein-rich foods like dairy products and nuts, so it's crucial to keep tabs on consumption. Next on our list at number 7 is leucine. A 2012 study published in Cell Metabolism found that a diet high in leucine could impair glucose tolerance, leading to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. If you love your dairy, poultry, and tofu, you're consuming leucine. Moving to number 6, we encounter histidine. According to a 2013 study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, individuals with higher blood levels of histidine were more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Histidine is another amino acid that is commonly found in protein-rich foods like meat and seafood. Halfway through our list at number 5, we meet tyrosine. Research published in the journal Diabetes in 2013 found that high tyrosine levels were associated with future insulin resistance, therefore increasing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Tyrosine-rich foods include cheese, soy products, and poultry. At number 4, we have valine. A 2019 study in the Journal of Diabetes Investigation discovered a correlation between elevated levels of valine and increased insulin resistance, which could heighten the risk of diabetes. Foods like cheese, peanuts, and mushrooms are high in valine. Into our top three, we have aspartic acid at number three. This amino acid, according to a 2018 study in the Journal of Diabetes and Metabolic Disorders, disrupts the balance of insulin and glucose in the body, leading to poor blood sugar control. Aspartic acid is commonly found in foods like poultry, seafood, and eggs. Just missing the top spot at number two is glutamic acid. Research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2008 pointed out that a high dietary intake of glutamic acid significantly increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. You'll find glutamic acid in many common foods such as meats, cheeses, and eggs. And finally, drumroll please, coming in at number 1, the worst amino acid for diabetics is isoleucine. Isoleucine, according to a 2019 study published in Nutrients, can significantly influence blood sugar levels causing them to rise sharply. Over time, the continuous consumption of foods high in isoleucine, such as cheese, soy, and lentils, may lead to a higher risk of diabetes and make diabetes management more challenging. When discussing the worst amino acid, it's important to note that all amino acids are necessary for proper bodily function, and deficiencies in any of them can have negative health effects. However, if we consider potential risks associated with excessive intake or certain conditions, one amino acid that has been linked to health issues is methionine. Here are some risks associated with methionine. High levels of methionine can contribute to an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. Methionine is involved in the production of homocysteine, and elevated levels of homocysteine in the blood have been associated with atherosclerosis and increased risk of heart disease. Excess methionine intake can lead to elevated levels of a metabolite called s adenosyl homocysteine SAH, which can be detrimental to liver health. High levels of SAH have been associated with liver damage and impaired liver function. Methionine has been linked to the regulation of lifespan and aging. 
Some studies in animal models have shown that a low methionine diet can extend lifespan, while high methionine intake may accelerate the aging process. Excessive intake of certain amino acids, particularly those with high protein content, can put a strain on the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from protein metabolism and consuming excessive amounts of protein or certain amino acids can increase the workload on the kidneys. This can be particularly concerning for individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions. In some cases, high doses of specific amino acids, such as branched-chain amino acids BCAAs, can cause gastrointestinal discomfort. This may include symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, or bloating. However, it's important to note that these effects are typically associated with excessive intake or supplementation beyond the recommended doses. As with any dietary consideration, moderation and balance are key. It's important to consume a varied diet that includes a balance of amino acids and other nutrients to support overall health. So there you have it, the top 10 amino acids that diabetics might need to be wary of. Now remember, these amino acids aren't necessarily bad. They're essential for our bodies, but it's all about balance and moderation. And always, consulting a healthcare professional for personalized dietary advice is the best approach. Living with diabetes requires an acute awareness of one's diet and lifestyle choices. Nutrients, including proteins and their building blocks, amino acids, have a direct influence on blood glucose levels and insulin action. The complexity of human nutrition dictates that our focus should not solely be on one nutrient, but on a balanced, holistic approach to eating. Physical activity also plays a significant role in managing diabetes, alongside diet, by helping to maintain a healthy weight and increase insulin sensitivity. Regular exercise not only assists in managing blood sugar levels, but also contributes to overall cardiovascular health. In conclusion, dietary management in diabetes is not a one-size-fits-all model. Each person's body responds differently, and it's essential to consider individual needs and responses to dietary changes. The listed amino acids may indeed contribute to challenges in diabetes management for some, but not for all. Therefore, it's always important to consult with healthcare providers when making significant dietary changes. The ever-evolving field of nutritional science continues to shed light on the intricate relationships between diet, individual nutrients, and health outcomes, such as diabetes. While research is ongoing, understanding and applying current knowledge can go a long way in helping individuals manage their health optimally. The top 10 worst amino acids for diabetics are a starting point for a deeper conversation on nutrition and diabetes, reminding us of the complexity and importance of our dietary choices.